basic analysis. So when you look to do stat analysis, you'll be in the analyze menu. We already talked about distribution and the next one down is fit y by x. That means that I have one x variable and one y variable, okay? It, nice thing about jump is you don't need to remember, do I need a chi-square or a t-test or an ANOVA? We're gonna guide you to that. Here's how that works. Um, we'll just do it this way. Analyze fit y by x. I wanna do a comparison of the different cities and see what the difference is in price by city. See which are the more expensive cities. So uh, city is our X or independent variable. We're gonna think of it as the, the, the cause variable. And we'll just look at price as the response. And we just get a, a graphical output at the stop, but at the start, but uh, the red triangle is where all the stat goodies are. And the analysis I want to do here is this uh, Tukey test that looks at all statistical comparisons among the different cities. And uh, yeah, the, the short story here is that everything is more expensive than Houston. And in the Bay Area, Palo Alto is more expensive than everything else. Okay, good. There's our statistical analysis. Last thing to show you. Uh, is a quick tabulation. Uh, some people are not familiar with the idea that Jump can uh, format and display your uh, data in a tabular format in a very nice, clean way. So this is using the Tabulate platform. Let's talk about how we made this. It's a different stats for the different cities in our data sets, looking at price per square foot, and then median number of bedrooms and bathrooms and median square feet. All right, so let's move this aside. Uh, there are two different tools you can use for this purpose. Uh, to summarize, you can either use table summary. Uh, that makes a data set. But if you're interested in making a nicely formatted table for, for just display, uh, then you use this, this tool, tabulate. Okay, and a little bit like the graph builder, we're going to drag and drop to build out our table. Uh, state or province is the beginning. I'll place this in the rows here. All right, California and Texas. Let's bring the cities in as well. I'm gonna bring the cities here and uh, you get used to just trying different things to get what you want. To get what I want here, I need uh, this right next to the state. There you go, state on the left, cities on the right. Now we have this breakdown. This is new in Jump 17. If I right click, I can stack, which is just, you know, it's a formatting thing, but it's kind of nice. Let's start adding some stats here. The first thing that we want to add is price per square foot. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to drag it to replace the number N. And we start off with a sum, which is not so helpful to us. Instead, what I want to see is I want to see the median. Stats are here. I'm going to replace that sum with a median. And in addition to the median, let's add min and max, drag them just to the right of that median there. That's pretty. What else do I want here? I want the N, I'm gonna drag that over here. Uh, I want some stats for the bedrooms and bathrooms and what was the last one? Square feet, where did that go? Where's my square feet there? And I'm gonna drag that to the right over here. Uh, instead of the sum there, I want median. All right, my last formatting thing I'm going to show you is uh, this idea of packing columns. Watch this, if I select these three for the price per square feet and right click, I can pack those columns. Again, new in Jump 17 to get that nice format, right, median, and then in parentheses, uh, min and max. And you can even change the format, the, the template if you want, right click, pack columns template. And let's say instead of that parenthesis, you wanna do it with square brackets. Wow, getting a lot of good feedback here. This is, yeah, formatting is important. I understand uh, it's important to our, our customers, our internal customers, right? Who like things formatted nicely. Uh, yeah, there it is. And you know what, the last thing I'm going to do, I don't like these blank rows. So if you just add aggregate statistics, 
gets filled in for the top, top level, California as a whole, Texas as a whole, and then for the data set as a whole. Just like Graph Builder, click done when you're done and it's ready to save and